Can you feed Sarah again tonight if I'm late? Sure. And if you're not late, I'll feed you. Thanks. Hey, listen, uh, remember I told you about that new history teacher? His class is next to the biology lab they gave me this semester. Well, he's divorced. No thanks. I'm doing fine without a guy. Not you, just me. He's got a bow tie. I'm a sucker for guys in bow ties. Bye. Harrison. Morning, Jess. Yeah, make yourself invisible. Alicia's on a rampage. Thanks for the warning. Too late. Where the hell's my update on the Gannon case? Depositions are on your desk. I left them there last night. I've got time to read all those depositions. I want an analysis. ASAP. I'm prepping witnesses for the Walensky case. Clone yourself. Sarah? Looks like I'll be working till midnight. Uh, to eat at Dina's. Gotta go. go guys. I wanna see better. Chad to look at me, Lisa. You're wearing the wrong clothes. You gotta show some skin. I wish Chad was more like Tyler. I wish Tyler was more like Chad. You do? Yeah. Tyler gets boring sometimes. Alright, that's it, boys. Did you talk to him? Yeah. He's not into you. Forget about it. He's a loser. He probably didn't say the right thing. What should I do? Forget him. Talk to him again. No, he's a player, Lisa. You're too good for him. Please. Tyler. Uh, the Ganyan case. Wrongful death. I need to see precedence, Angie, and if you could do it before you leave. I'm on it. Thanks. <sighs> I'm a bit overworked. No problem. Where were we? HLHS. It's hypoplastic left heart syndrome. Use simple words. People who sit on juries aren't necessarily as educated as you are. A baby is born with a congenital heart defect. In layman's terms, it's a, it's a hole in the heart. Can anything be done about this? Yeah. This is a technique known as the Norwood procedure. It requires three stages of reconstructive surgery. Well, it sounds complicated. Yeah, it is, but I've got charts I can bring to Thanks, court. Thanks, Angie. 
Look, what we want to do is get the jury to respond to the loss of a real child, an infant with a life-threatening problem, and a procedure that could have saved her if the doctor had been competent. I have done this before. Sorry. No, me too. Listen, it's my stomach talking. Can we do the rest of this over dinner? I can't. You gotta eat. Well, I'll order a sandwich, but I gotta work. It'll work better after a real meal. Sorry. All right, well, I'm going. Uh, when do I see you tomorrow? Two o'clock, okay? Two o'clock. Last chance. Who wants chard? Not me. Sarah, are you going to stop reading long enough to eat? Fork to mouth. It's a complex program. I'm not hungry. <laughs> Have a little meatloaf <clears throat> with your ketchup, Frankie. Call the space police. She's been kidnapped by aliens. Something the matter, Sarah? It's her hormones. Shut up. When chimpanzees are in heat, their butts turn red. <laughs> Make him shut up. Shut up, Frankie. You're 11. He's got a condom in his wallet. You shut up, Tyler. Frankie thinks a condom is something that you use to blow your nose when you have a cold. Hey! Hey! Where are you going? To do something constructive, like develop my pictures. Most doctors don't like to testify in malpractice cases. Yeah, the medical profession can sometimes be a closed shop. You know, see no evil, hope it doesn't happen to you. Hmm. You know, I want to get rid of the bad apple in the barrel. The doctor that operated on the infant should never set foot in an operating room again. Mm -hmm. <sighs> to lose a child has to be the worst thing that could happen to anybody. It was her first, and the doctors told her that um, she couldn't have any more children. It's hard for anyone to handle. I lost an infant 12 years ago. A boy. We found him in his crib. Sorry. I don't know why I'm telling you this. You never talk about it. You have kids? Ah. <sighs> ah, come on. <laughs> Sarah's 15. Oh, she is going to be a knockout. Oh, thank goodness she doesn't so, have kids. Alice and Zach, she's eight, he's six. We took that skiing. Do you go skiing a lot with them? Oh, not as much as I'd like to. They, um, they live with my wife. It must be hard. Yeah, not as hard as a marriage that's not working, though. I've been there, done that. So, how's the single life? Not exactly the fast lane. Mm. Yeah. Soda water. Works on neckties. How long have you been on your own? Five years. No guy? Nothing serious. Five years, that's a long time. Hmm. <laughs> you lose your faith, and you lose your trust, and you lose your nerve. Lose your desire? Unfortunately not. Well, I don't know. Fortunately not. Are you divorced? Separated. I'm not a... I don't want to... Hey, hey, I'm not trying to pressure you into anything. It's... We've been dancing around this for days, and don't tell me that you haven't felt it. any sense at all, we would be in bed right now.
Oh, God. Not good, huh? I'm gonna have to be at the office at the crack of dawn. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. <sighs> okay. took these. I don't know. Sit up. What do you mean you don't know? I took them with a timer. For what? For no reason. For some boy? For nobody. You just decided to take some sexy pictures of yourself for nobody? You expect me to believe that? Why are you attacking me? Where were you until two o'clock in the morning? Working. Sure, working. You're the kid. I'm the adult. I am not answerable to you. And everything I do is not your business. Oh, like not even calling? What if I had a problem? You have a problem. These pictures are a problem. Those are my pictures and they're my business. You are 15 years old. I am not a baby, no matter what you think. What is happening to you, Sarah? No. Just leave me alone. Okay, just leave me alone. What are we doing? We don't do this. It's just... Those pictures... They don't seem like you. They're not me. They're the me I want to be, but I, I don't know how. You don't know how it feels. I do. Making your lunch? It's dark outside. I didn't finish my work last night. So what? So? Need Alicia support if I want to go to law school so I can't complain when she piles on the workload. That's why not. Look, I was just trying out stuff. With the pictures? It's not that big a deal. 
maybe I overreacted a little. Is that new perfume? You like it? I don't know. Can you do my hair? I don't have time. Your hair looks fine. My hair is not sexy. I thought we declared a truce on the subject of sex. I'm 15. My point exactly. What's wrong with you? Your eyes look funny. Nothing's wrong with me. I just didn't get enough sleep. You have plans for Halloween? Why? Do you have plans? Who would I have plans with? I don't know. You going out with your dad? Right. Everybody's hooking up with somebody and I'm going trick-or-treating with dad. Sex is big, Sarah. It's got big consequences. And you're not ready for it. Okay, Mom, whatever. Can we just not talk about this anymore? Guess I won't be getting that new camera for Christmas. I'll call you from work. Hello? Hi. Hi. Hmm. You okay? Hmm. <sighs> what are you thinking? Trying to work. So when am I going to see you again? Two o'clock. Mm, uh, that's not what I mean. I'm thinking about it. Uh, I'll see you at two. Two o'clock. Can you buy a cup of coffee? I can't leave my desk. Full desk, huh? It's piled up. I'm stuck here. Okay. Bye. This is Jess Gradwell. How soon can I get an appointment? I need to get fitted for a new diaphragm. Thursday, 4 o'clock works. You're busted. You lie to your best friend. You tell her you're at your desk when you're out shopping for lingerie. Forget that it's written all over your face. Who is he and how long you've been sleeping with him? I was going to tell you, Dina. I swear. Tell me. I got to get back to work. Oh, Dina. <sighs> I never knew sex could be like this. It is un. Unbelievable. It's been a long drought, Jess. I'm oh, happy for you. It's like you don't know who you are until somebody touches you, the right person touches you and moves you and makes you know what it means to be alive. Whoa, girl. He's a surgeon from Atlanta, an expert witness on one of my cases, and I do not want Sarah to know about it, okay? At least until I know where it's going. Is he available? He's separated. What's his story? I don't know. Ask. Did you talk to Alicia about law school yet? I'm waiting for the right moment. The right moment is the one you grab. I'll try and pave the way. Must be a guy. Who is he? Oh, um, a lingerie shower for a friend who's getting married. Hey, maybe you should keep this one. Build it and they will come. I'll think about that. Mm -hmm. yeah. And your specialty is? Uh, pediatric cardiac surgery. Mm -hmm. Can you describe the Walensky infant's medical condition? 
Uh, hypoplastic left heart syndrome. Does this require surgery? Yeah, it requires reconstruction of the infant's heart. How many of these have you done? Hundreds. Can you describe this reconstruction procedure? No. It has gone completely out of my head. We're supposed to be working. Oh, I can't wait till tonight. I can't. I can't. I, I can't leave Sarah for another night. When? I'll work something out this weekend. Oh, no, that's too far away. What if someone knocks? Tell him to go away. So what did Chad say about Halloween? He said maybe. Now that's sexy. I look like a goth. Goths are sexy. What did he mean, maybe? Well, it means he didn't say no, but he didn't say yes. Doesn't matter. I have to go with my dad anyway. He said he'd come. He didn't. Tyler and me. We were going to surprise you. Just show up to get you and he'd be in the car. He said yes? Well, not yes to you exactly, but he said he'd be there. Can I keep this? And this. Definitely this. You were late this morning. It won't happen again. Emma says you've got something you want to talk to me about. You've got 60 seconds. I want to go to night school, get a law degree. You don't have enough on your plate? In three years, my daughter will be in college. Oh, and by then, you want to be wearing my shoes. I want to crack at a real career. It's three nights a week, a lot of hard work, but I can do it. Are you asking me to pull some strings? And maybe help me get a tuition loan? Let me make myself clear. I like ambition, but I like it to be in the service of this firm. So don't let law school interfere with your job. Hello. I miss you. I can't get there till 8. What's your order for room service? Oysters. Okay. Oh, April, I can't believe it. Anna gets cuter every time I see her. <laughs> bunny? Who's this trick-or-treat bunny? Aww. Are you ready to roll, sugar? Yeah. Trick-or-treat, Hannah. Where's your costume? I'm too old for a costume, Dad. Oh. Listen, Nick, I hate to trouble you, but I got a leak in my roof that needs to be fixed before the rain. Think you could send one of your crew out? Yeah, yeah, next week. Okay. Great. Okay, come on, let's get the candy wagon on the road. I'm staying overnight at Dad's. Okay. My side. All right. Thank you. Pleasure. Fingers and feet. I'm on my way. Order a couple steaks to go with the oysters. We got until dawn. I'm not very good at this, am I? Oh, hey. Baby. I love 
love watching you. I love looking at you. I can't keep away from you. I can't stop thinking about you. Wow, this is getting me something. Something what? Something special. For me too. I'm not a player. I think I figured that one out. And this is not just... Lust? Oh, I don't know. I think lust is pretty good. Yes. But serious is scary. Very scary. Couldn't spend the night, honey. That's okay. I got lots of stuff to do. Where's your mom? She'll be home by 10. Oh, happy Halloween, honey. Night, Dad. Happy Halloween. Yeah. Where's Chad? I thought Chad was coming. He's coming later. Where are we going? Rita's house. Her folks are out of town. Why didn't it work? We had two careers. So, having kids was kind of a late decision. She quit her job, stayed at home with the kids. So about a year ago, when our youngest went to kindergarten, the firm had gone through some changes. So when she went back, she got a new boss. And they had an affair. I found out about it, it got messy. And hard on the kids? No, no, we protected the kids. We told them we were breaking up because my work came first, and I figured, Better a negligent father than an adulterous mother. What happened to your marriage? Nick and I were friends. I made the mistake of getting married. It wasn't bad, it just was never like this. Not close? Close, but not close. We never fought, we just never fit. And when we lost the baby, it wasn't the emotional glue to hold us together, and so we gave up being married and went back to being friends. No regrets. About my marriage? Well, about us. <laughs> you are the best thing that's ever happened to me.
Why aren't you at your dad's? I live here. You said you were spending the night with your dad in April. And you said you had no plans. So where were you? And don't tell me you were working. Something came up at the last minute. What? I went out with friends. What friends? From work. All night. I didn't abandon you. I thought you were at your dad's. <laughs> Who were you with? Don't cross-examine me. I told you I was with friends. Now go back to your own bed. I want to sleep here. You have a boyfriend, don't you? No. I don't believe you. Everybody can get a boyfriend except me. You will. When the time's right. I lied to you. I was never going to spend the night at Dad's. I went to this party with Tyler and Lisa, and I thought this guy was going to be there, but he wasn't. Oh, Sarah. It was awful. Everybody was making out except me. Nobody even asked me. Listen, baby. Finding a boyfriend isn't like a trip to the mall. Your first boyfriend needs to be special. As special as you are. Let's go. I've got everything ready. Where's our expert witness? Dr. Layton, is it? Lofton. Alex Lofton. He's meeting us at the courthouse. Right. Next time we go to court, Jess, wear something more conservative. Was that a yes? Yes, Alicia. I'd like to make sure I'm heard. Questions for Dr. Lofton? Is he prepped? He's prepped. And where do you practice pediatric surgery, Dr. Lofton? Atlanta. And your field of expertise is? Reconstructive heart surgery in infants and newborns. The Walensky infant was born with a heart defect? Yes. Uh, HLHS, hypoplastic left heart syndrome. It should have been diagnosed in utero, but it wasn't. The Norwood procedure was used. In this procedure, the surgeon attempts to reconstruct the newborn's tiny heart. Correct nature's mistake. Can you give us a brief description of the procedure? Sure. Um, the main pulmonary artery is used to rebuild the aorta. And then a shunt is inserted to provide pulmonary circulation. Dr. Lofton, have you been certified by the American Board of Thoracic Surgery? Yes, of course. Well, the jury's heard testimony that the physician who performed the surgery on the Walensky infant failed she got me the test law for certification she by should. the American you Board of Thoracic good. Surgery three times. Congratulations. Can you uh, tell the jury what this means? It means he's incompetent. And the hospital that allowed him to perform the surgery was incompetent. Is something going on between you two? Could you elaborate Absolutely on that? Absolutely not. Do you think there were five errors. Professional enough to sleep with an expert witness? First, uh, the aorta was properly. You got that right. Second, I take it back. To remove I see nothing. I think we fooled everybody. Yeah. Except Emma. And Alicia would have to stick lighted matches under Emma's fingernails to get her to talk. Well, thank God our professional relationship is over. Now the next time we see each other, we can spend all of our time making love. It's hard leaving you. It's hard to let you go.
Alicia sending me to Chicago to take a deposition in a custody case two days before Thanksgiving. Payback for law school. I'll be there. It's just three weeks, Jess. One more. One more, for good luck. Great, thanks. Hey, Sarah. Hey, you still wanna get together? What? Hook up. With me? That's what Lisa said you said. I, I guess, sure. Uh, okay, uh, when? I'll call you. Okay, great. He loves me. He loves me. April, take you shopping again? It's a present for babysitting Hannah. You like it? Sure, if you want to look like a veal sausage. She bought me a navel ring, too. And why not? Who would want to show their navel off to the world without a ring in it? You mean it's okay? Absolutely not. I'm starving. No supper? They eat late. People eat late in Europe. How's it going with your biology professor? He teaches history. <laughs> his name is Howard, and I've got his attention. Hi. Hi. Hi, Mom. It's okay with you that they're alone upstairs? Well, they're gonna do it somewhere. If they're gonna have sex, let them do it at home. Well, where would you suggest? Well, Sarah's not ready for that. Oh, you mean you're not ready for that? You have boys. Sex isn't gonna ruin their life. Tyler is going to do what nature programmed him for no matter what I do. I'm not gonna fight biology. I mean, the only thing I can do is try to get him to be responsible. Look, I'd sell him abstinence. You find a way to package it, you let me know. So if they want to drink, let them drink at home. And if they want to take drugs, let them take drugs at home. What kind of parenting is that? Well, I want to know what my kids are doing and where they're doing it. And I want to make sure my kid's not doing it, at least not until it's meaningful. Well, I'm not trying to undermine that, Jess. We run one household back and forth across the street. You can shut your door and you can sterilize your kitchen, but you can't put Sarah under glass. Put Sarah on the pill? Is that your suggestion? I don't know what to tell you, Jess. I mean, you know how hard it is to teach these kids when they're being bombarded with sex, music, ads, not to mention their own raging hormones. Something that you have recently rediscovered, I might add. How's it going? Is he calling? We're meeting in Chicago. That's great. Mm -hmm. Two days before Thanksgiving, which means you cook the turkey. Right. I know what you're going to be doing.
got to talk. Talk? You know how I feel about you. Tell me how you feel about me. When I looked up and saw you walk into the lobby, my heart stopped. It actually stopped. Very romantic. Hmm. I fell in love with you, Jess. For you or for me? I'm going back. To your wife? To my kids. Maybe if I don't look at you ever again, I can bear this. She bought the pie. <laughs> Bust it. Here, Dad. Dad and April, are you ready? You and April. One, two, three. Oh, thank, I thank you. you. <laughs> Any of that coffee down here? Mm hmm. Yes, here so, comes. can I go now? <laughs> May I be excused? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, can you go wake up Hannah? She'll probably need to be changed. The diaper bag's in the living room. Okay. How long before their toilet train? Oh, I wouldn't worry about it. I've never seen a kid in college in diapers. <laughs> they say that girls are much easier to toilet train than boys. Yeah, and easier to raise, I hear. Well, you couldn't prove it by me. Thanks a lot, Mom. <laughs> me and Tyler gotta go. Tyler and I. Whatever, we gotta go. Bye. Bye, honey. Bad grammar shows a breakdown in civilization. I mean, everybody's too lax these days, even the church. I liked it when the mass was in Latin and everybody didn't hug each other all the time. <laughs> Well, your generation did it, Valerie. All those women who marched on Washington and danced at Woodstock. Civil rights, birth control, changed the world we live in. Oh, I wasn't one of them. Howard teaches history. 20th century, civil rights, feminism. Oh, two world wars. The Cold War, the Vietnam War, Gulf War, and the war between the sexes. Oh, since when is that history? It's not, but it gets their attention. <laughs> yes, I'll bet it does. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I think it's very modern of you to have Nick here, and Hannah is as cute as a bug, even if she isn't ours, but April. Nick's family, Mom. Uh -huh. Oh, sweet. <laughs> you can babysit any time you like, uh -oh. and I do mean any time. <laughs> we have to take Hannah home, though, so really appreciate dinner, Jess. You're welcome. Thank Roofer you. will be here on Tuesday. Thanks, Nick. <laughs> See you, Val. Mm -hmm. Night. Oh, sometimes I wish I had another grandchild. Not a chance. 
Oh, Howard, uh, could I get a ride home with you? I can't drive until my cataract operation. Sure, Valerie. Hey. Okay. Mm. Be right back. Night, dear. Bye, Mom. Mm. You okay? Hanging in. What a jerk. He loves his kids. Yeah, that's what they all say. He's just the kind of jerk that wanted to fool around while he was out of town. No, he's not. My heart's broken, but I'm alive. He did that. And if you're alive, you're gonna feel pain. Those are the rules. I'm sorry, Jess. No, oh, who cares about turkey soup? I always make turkey soup. You make the turkey soup. Are you sick? Stomach flu. Are you sure you're okay? I told you I had stomach flu. I'm gonna pick something up at the pharmacy on the way home. I can't believe you didn't use protection. I did. I just got carried away once. Once? Look, I don't need this. You're right. I'm sorry. Don't you think I'm mad enough at myself? Well, that's not going to do any good now, is it? Not much. So let's just stay calm and be kind to ourselves. Chamomile. I'm calm. Drink it. At least he's got good genes. What are you talking about? You're not actually thinking of having this baby. What if I might be? Oh, you can't be serious, Jess. Sarah's 15. Freedom is on the horizon. Just... Slow down, okay? What if life owes me a baby, Dina? Oh, no. This doesn't make any sense, Jess. I mean, you're, you're gonna be doing this on your own. You'll be tied down till the year 2020. And what about your career? Well, I wouldn't quit working. Right. A career, a baby, law school. Oh, and think about this. In 14 years, 
You'll have another teenager. I'm 38 years old. What if this is my last chance? You got Sarah. Well, like you said, in two years, she goes to college. I'm used to being needed. What you need is to think about this, Jess. Really think about it. She doesn't go out. She doesn't have a boyfriend. Maybe it was my mom. She's got Howard. Then how did it end up in our bathroom trash can? Easy. My mom took the test at your house. Okay, well, if you think it's your mom who's pregnant, then why aren't you freaked? I guess I really don't think it's my mom. Besides, maybe the test was negative. Okay, but if it was your mom and the test was positive, you'd be freaked, right? Yeah, I guess. How freaked? I'm pretty freaked. Well, I'm pretty freaked. You're jumping to some large conclusions, you know? Besides, like you said, your mom, she doesn't have a boyfriend, right? Maybe she does. You just said she didn't. Well, she thinks I don't have a boyfriend either. You don't. I might get Chad sometime. <sighs> Chad is a loser. You're a guy, you don't get it. I got the stomach flu. You think I'm stupid? You've had the stomach flu for days. You're pregnant, aren't you? Sarah. Well, are you? I don't know. Liar, you do know. I think I might be. Liar? Okay. I'm pregnant. You're pregnant? Yes. Who is he? Do you know how creepy this is? Your mom having sex with somebody nobody has ever even heard of? He's a heart surgeon. Right, where is he? Atlanta. How convenient. Talk about a trip to the mall. Sarah! I don't want to talk about this, okay? I don't want to talk about this ever again! I'm out of here. No breakfast? Tyler's taking me to the mall. I don't know what happened. The dishwasher died. I hate to bother you, Nick, but um, if you could get me a new one and send someone to install it, thanks. I appreciate it. I gotta go. Bye. My wife's having a little dinner party. She's got somebody she wants to introduce you to. Sorry. I can't, but thanks. It might be good for you to be a nice guy. He's not bad looking, but very solvent. I'm pregnant, Harrison. Wow. I'll be damned, this is news. Who's a lucky guy? There isn't one. Well, then, what do I say? Uh, congratulations. I, I, I mean, best wishes. Uh, listen, you can still come to the dinner party anyways. No, but thanks. H how do you think they're going to react to this around here? They're lawyers. Anything without a six-figure fee doesn't register on their radar screens. But if you mean Alicia, I don't want to be around when you tell her. What do you expect me to say? Hey, you're a great piece of manpower and I'm behind you? <laughs> do you think this firm is never, never land? I've got to give you what the law requires, a couple of months off for maternity leave. And 
I have to take you back, whatever shape you're in. But I am not going to be shortchanged. I built this firm from scratch. I chose not to have kids. I chose not to sacrifice my career. You think you can do it all? Well, you damn well better be able to do it all because I'm not going to cut you any slack. Have you got that? Yes. Good. One more thing. Don't you think law school's a bit much for you right now? No, I don't. You're pale. You look like you haven't had any sleep. I'm, I'm coming down with the flu. Go home. It's only four o'clock. If I catch it, you're fired. Go home. Get yourself well over the weekend. But take your laptop. I need that brief first thing Monday morning. time you can get for statutory rape mom you can't get me for that I'm not 18 you never told me you had a warden <sighs> look lady no weapons no drugs I just came to hook up what's the big deal hit the road Jack his name is Chad Chad whatever You. He just happens to carry this sign with him. I borrowed it from Tyler. He puts it on his door when he's got Lisa in his room so Dina knows not to come in. Why can't you be cool like Dina? I am not Dina. And Dina wouldn't be so cool if she had daughters instead of sons. Without a boyfriend, I'm nobody. How could a boyfriend who is a nobody make you a somebody? I am sick of being a prude. You are grounded. What kind of a hypocrite are you? You're pregnant. You're pregnant and you think you can tell me what to do? I am 38. Oh, so that makes it okay. No, it doesn't make it okay, but it makes me an adult. Well, I'm just a kid, but at least I'd know enough to use condoms. You are way out of line, Sarah. You don't like the truth, do you? How could you be so dumb? You're pregnant, pregnant, pregnant! Ah! Sarah, Sarah, I, wait I am so sorry. I don't believe you anymore. I don't believe anything you say. What are you doing? Going to live with Dad. And I'm going to have sex with whoever I want. No, you're not. I am still the mother around here. Do you know how humiliating this is? It, it's embarrassing. And it's a mess. And it's stupid. What are you going to do? Are you actually going to have this kid? Yes, I am. That's great. That's just great. Sarah? Tyler? Can you take me to my dad's house right now? Sarah! On dishwasher coming up. Oh, thanks, Nick. Is there anything else I can do? I could use a hug. I 
I guess I'm all cried out. How's Sarah? Oh, she's mad. Apart from that, she's not a hell of a lot of fun to be with. I've lost all credibility. She feels she now has the right to defy everything I've ever taught her. No, I told her, just because you make a mistake, it doesn't mean you give up the right to try to keep her from making one. Thanks for the support. Sarah's just gonna have to get used to the way things are. That's what I like about you. You're solid, down to earth. <laughs> Didn't like it much when we were married. I've grown to appreciate it. See ya. Bye. I don't need help. It's a cataract. It's not brain surgery. <laughs> Why don't we sit on the front porch, Mom? Come on. It's beautiful out today. All right. I'm pregnant. I already know. Sarah told me. You could have mentioned it. Well, I didn't feel I was ready to congratulate you yet. I don't want you to judge me, Mom. I'm trying to understand. I'm thinking... This could be the child I lost. The one that's been missing from my life all these years. What about Sarah? She'll get used to it. <laughs> I need your help. I don't know how to help you, Jess. Just accept that I'm doing the right thing for me. Well, that may be, Jess, but I'm going to have to get used to this, too. The Patterson case, can you get this organized by this afternoon? Sure. Are you okay? I guess, if you don't count waking up at four in the morning worrying about diapers and dates. Are you all ready? This Harrison wants it. This afternoon. Where the hell are the depositions for the Simmons case? They'll be ready this afternoon. I'll see you later. Hello? Hi, it's Dr. Fern. Dr. Fern. Got a sec? I have your annual results. got my amnio results. No Down syndrome, no spina bifida, no hemophilia. Clean bill. It's a boy. Congratulations. Oh, this is a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Maybe you should reconsider law school. And give Alicia that victory? No way. Mm. Peanut butter oatmeal. Mm. Howard's favorite. Howard's moving in. Well, be happy for me. That's wonderful. Well, it's not all wonderful. Why? He comes with a Great Dane. Come we now our gay apparel, la 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 la, as we sing our Yuletide carol, la 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 la. Your mom's boyfriend, whoever he is, he should marry her. When I got pregnant with Hannah, your dad married me. More than I want to know. Just my opinion. Hannah's gonna go nuts when she sees all this stuff. 
She's six months old. Don't pout, Sarah. Santa brought you something. Yeah, here it is, sweetheart. April picked it out. <sighs> something sexy. Food? Oh, no. I know I bought it. I don't know where I left it. It isn't in the truck? No. Hell. I'm starving. Double cheeseburger. I'm sick of cheeseburgers. I'll get you bacon burger. At Christmas time, Mom always bakes a glazed ham. Well, every family has its own traditions. I'll go with you. You stay with Hannah. I can't. I've got a Christmas party. Tyler's picking me up. Bye. deserve each other. We were at this party. Lisa went off with Chad and they were... Tyler and I had to get out of there. I'm sorry he broke your heart. He didn't. It's not fatal. I promise. I hate Lisa. Feel sorry for Lisa. Chad used her. Is that a glazed ham? Who's taking it to Dina's? You hungry? April's a slob. Nobody's perfect. Just my opinion. You have to have a brain to have an opinion. Every family has its own traditions. Double cheeseburgers give me a break. You want to open your Christmas present early? Did 
you know I'd come back? I hoped. But you weren't sure? No. Good. The new camera. We have stuff to work out, you and me. Could we not talk about anything tonight? Merry Christmas. I liked being an only child. You're not your dad's only child. I liked being your only child. You're my only daughter. You're gonna have a baby and I'm never gonna have a boyfriend. Sex changes things. It can change you. It can change your life. Change yours. Hmm. Listen. Lisa didn't just betray you and Tyler. She betrayed herself too, Sarah. Sometimes if you have sex with the wrong person, the tears don't just last a night. They can last forever. Well, how do you know when it's the right person? Sometimes your heart doesn't talk as loud as your hormones. But that's what you have to listen to. Your heart. You okay? Yeah. Do my hair? Sure. What happened between me and Lisa was nothing. Really? Nothing? It made you not like me anymore, and I, I feel bad about that. You do? Sure. You know, I still think about you. You do? You know, I was thinking maybe we could go out sometime. I mean, I was thinking maybe you could give me another chance. You know, sometime when your mom's not around. Hit the road, Jack.
to have that. Okay. It's it's just okay. First, I have to know, are you trying to get back at Lisa? Uh, Lisa who? Lisa, the night she hooked up with Chad? No. Did she freak you out by what she did? Mm, no, she, I was trying to break up with her anyway, so I did. <laughs> That's not true. I know, but it's my story. Okay. <laughs> So, you know, I, I, I didn't do it with Chad. But you would have. I was stupid. <sighs> what, what's wrong? Who am I? Um, what do you mean? You're Sarah. What else? There is no what else. Can you t can you tell me what I'm doing wrong so I can do it right? I don't know what you're doing wrong. I just know that this doesn't feel right. Okay, but you can't you can't get me all worked up and then not deliver. <laughs> That's just what Chad said. I'm not Chad. I'm your best friend. You know the one you used to fool around with. <laughs> you remember when we played doctor? We were in second grade. So? So that was curiosity. And what's this? This is serious. Okay, I don't get it. Look, you asked me to help you do it, and then you turn it into a federal case. Look, if, if we do this, then afterwards you'll be just the same as before. But... I'll be different. I'll be a different person. This was your idea. I made a mistake, okay? I... I thought... I thought I was ready. And I thought I should probably do it with somebody I already love. Like you. You love me? <laughs> See, you're not ready for that. And I'm not either. I mean, maybe by your senior prom or something. Or maybe by mine. I'll hold you to that. Oh. Come on. You ready? Come on. <laughs> Crib bumpers, breast pump, night light. Well, the hardest thing is going to be finding good daycare. Well, not the first year. All the babies do is swap germs. Nanny's cost a fortune. What's going on? Nothing. Nothing? <laughs> I'm covered this summer. I have maternity leave. I won't be teaching. And Sarah doesn't go back to school until September. Don't count on me. I'm counting on you. Just kidding. So, I'm okay until I go back to work in October. Then what? Well, there's always your mother. <gasps> not that! You're not suggesting she should move in with me. You know how long I'd last? Do you know how long I'd last? Hello, April. I'm back. <laughs> Give Belle a break. You can't imagine what it was like for her when she was growing up. She's a prisoner of history. You're sticking up for your mother? Yeah, I am. I'm gonna have to adjust to that. How about for your baby present, I buy your mother a crib? What? We buy two of everything. Crib, playpen, high chair. One for her, one for you. Then when you decide to go back to work... I take the baby to my mother's. And you pick him up on your way home. Think she'd go for it? You okay? Oh. Vital signs? Pulse 109, temp 103, BP 164 over 110. Abdominal tenderness, right upper quadrant. Medic said she vomited in the ambulance. Uh, I want liver enzyme test and an ultrasound. 
So, do you know anything? Not yet. Is it terrible? I don't know. What is it? Do they know? Well, if they do, they haven't told me. It's going to be fine. How was she? We had to do a C-section. Is my mom okay? Absolutely. The baby? Oh, he's fine, and he's, he's just going to have a rough beginning, that's all. Named him Jake. After Dad. Oh. Four pounds, twelve ounces. He'll be on a respirator for a couple of days, but he's fine. You saw him. He's beautiful. Yes. But not as beautiful as Sarah was. You know why I did this, don't you? Because the person who has brought me the most happiness in my life has been you, Sarah. And I need you to know that for all of my life, I will carry you as I did before you were born, directly under my heart. I love you. Me too. You're my life. And now Jake is my life too. And we'll do this together. We'll all do this together. Two? 